Hi guys, welcome to uh, another video, uh, this time a crazy purchase. As you know I bought an iPad the other day uh, and I was browsing eBay and I saw this thing on there called the uh, the iCade. It was literally 20 minutes drive down the road for uh, 35 quid so I couldn't say no. Uh, way it works is it's all Bluetooth based so like the uh, controller over at the bottom you pair it up with the iPad, a couple of button presses, dead easy to do and you've basically got a, a, a movable controller wherever you want to go. Uh, I don't know how well I can see this because I might have to zoom out with the camera but it's a decent bit of, bit of kit. Now strangely enough they, uh, they wouldn't post it what didn't matter to me because I was going driving by they wouldn't post it because it was too heavy now it is made out of wood but if you can see the back there it's like it's you know it's just straight back it's, it's thin pieces of wood that's the uh, the, the lid come up, comes off it's, I don't know if you see that no probably not that I did it at a distance yeah so you've got all your instructions all your setup instructions on there you do get like a link to the app store for some free games to use on it but Luckily, I've got that I meme, so I've been using that. So, uh, so yeah, I'm uh, quite sure with that. It's an amazing bit of kit. Uh, I basically spent all this morning loading up the uh, the iPad with main games. Now, I'll, I'll just show that off there. Just put it in there. Now, as you can see, because it's uh, an iPad screen, it's a bit. A bit short. Well, actually, I forgot one, one feature. See this bit here when you press a button, it does actually light up. Oh, it doesn't actually do anything, but it, you know, it just looks neat. Right. <laughs> this is a bit of a weird video because I might have moved the camera back and forth. Uh, right, then, let's have a look at that. Right, the buttons are all very. You can hear that? Proper arcade buttons, you know, the old clicking stuff. It's all set up with the iPad, uh, just to use it, so I go to iMame, hang on a second, cancel, uh, it disconnects after a while, because the, the thing is the, the cab actually runs on uh, two AA batteries. Now the, the, the biggest problem I've had with it is, is the actual recess where it sits, because if you look at that now, it's sat on like, there's like a, a lip that holds the iPad in place, you know, you can sit it up in. But the problem is, I mean, because the, the when the iPad stood up like that, it's tall and it's great for like, like um, vertical shooters. But if you play anything like a, a side-on game or where you want a bigger screen, it's a bit of a pain because you've got to take your iPad out. And then there's like a little itch there. And then you see, you can, I can do it there and then you can rest your pad in. Which isn't great, I mean I don't understand this, why on these little wooden etchings here they just couldn't, you know, they could have just receded that a bit so you could then sit the pad straight into that, because I mean, I don't know if you see that there, but the, the pad would have just slotted in just fine and rested up but I, I think, that, I'm just a bit suspicious about it, but they released like a follow on to this, I think uh, like the RK2 or something, which is just the control bit at the bottom uh, but there's none of this wooden top surround, it's just like there's a little lip and like a little stand hold up thing on the back so you can literally put it in whichever way you want. Uh, like I said, I would have preferred one of those but they're like about 60, 70 quid and again for 35 quid I can put up with a bit of screen moving. Uh, so yeah, let's just uh, have a look at some games on it. I say I put about 5 gigs worth on it. I got a 32 gig iPad and I'll probably only ever use about over 10 gigs worth of other ROMs at a time. There's, there's squillions of games on here, I went nuts. The greyed out ones are uh, basically games that don't work. It would, like I said, there's, there's that many of them, it takes forever to take it off. Uh, go for a classic. Bubble Bobble US. That's just all your option stuff for the game. Now before we start, the sound's coming out of the speaker on the, uh, on the, the iPad. One thing I'm thinking of doing is I've got some um, like U USB speakers I could probably plug in somewhere and then just plug the stereo in the top just to give that an oomph of sound because I mean it's just you know it's an iPad speaker in the day it's all right but it's not great let's just see if it's hey so yeah straight in I'll probably suck at this I know that's a credit button. 
Uh, one player. You can hear that. I mean, the tunes are all there, fantastic, but really, really quiet. That's the only problem with it. Actually, but I'll, I'll show you what I mean by it. the annoying thing would be on its side. That's the great thing as well, you can just pause the game anywhere just by tapping the screen. It'd probably be better with something like Final Fight, I'll show that off in a minute. Oh, oh dead. <laughs> uh, there we go. See, so I, I prefer that viewpoint on some games, but it's more like Bubble Bobble, it's probably better on the other one. Shooters like our type, it's got to be vertical all the way. So the only problem is you can probably can't hear, you can't, I'm looking at the camera now, bottom left screen's all blocked out. Let's try a different one. Let's see, let's see if we can find Final Fight. Uh, you can jump down the page at a time. Some awesome games on this though. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, I had to get that. Uh, I did want all the Double Dragons, but I couldn't actually find them online which was a bit weird everywhere I seemed to go it was all like uh, it was the other one oh that's, that's, oh, that's Donkey Kong sorry yeah I like, see Double Dragon Neo Geo I think US one I think that's the Neo Geo one as well hang on Oh no, maybe not. I'm being an idiot. That's awesome. I've already got it. Let's put it up there. Ooh. Oh, uh, uh. You can change the button setups and stuff, I think. Hang on a minute, I'll have one player. I love this game, it's friggin' awesome. Straight in there. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Come on, sunshine. I mean, I've been playing this for uh, pretty much all morning and a couple of hours last night because I just picked a few titles off just to see if it would work. And uh, I've not seen anything with slowdown. It's pretty much run all the Neo Geo games, like I say, all, all the main titles I've had on. Um, I think about the latest I've got is about 2002, maybe 2003. Uh, and again, you know, no slowdown, nothing. I think again that's down to the, the awesome uh, pad though. I don't know how it, it work on, on the other ones. Yeah, you, you know, obviously you can't have two player. I assume well, maybe if you had uh, another another like another controller of these, it'd probably work. Oops, I've fallen off. Oh, he's down. So look at another uh, exit game. Right, uh, let's get out of the D's. E SWAT, that's a good game. I remember that. I think I had that on the Mega Drive. Uh, Euro Champ, Empire City. I'm feeling like I'm going to steal Empire 1. What did I say before? Final fight. Let's see if that should be on here. Uh, there it is. I can go to that one. You can also mark the games. if Because the biggest problem with MAME is you have so many file names. When I got all these file names, this program actually puts out the full name on the screen, but when I downloaded them as like a, a, a ROM pack, they were in like zip file names, so Fire Trap might be called like FR Tap. And it was, imp I mean, you know, I downloaded, I think it was a, a pile of about 3,500 ROMs. It's just impossible to tell which is which. I was taking a drink there. I'm off work this week, but not gonna work. Yes, straight in. I'll do you the, the side trick on this one as well. You'll, you'll, you'll see what I mean. Come on. 
I haven't worked out how to turn off the credit system, but I assume that'll be in the options somewhere. I mean, there's stuff in loads of things to play around with, like digital and analog touch type. I don't, I don't know what animated means. Loads and loads of stuff. Uh, there's another thing, I can't think where it is. CRT filter. Uh, let's have a look at that. See, this is awesome. I don't know if you can see this on the quality of the camera, but. It's, I don't know if it's clear enough, but it, it, it's, it's, it looks like a, a CRT screen, like a proper monitor. Yeah, get in there. So, see how it's just tiny there? I mean, when you set up close to it, that's actually not too bad, because, you know, you're right on top of the screen. But then you do that, look how much it just... It's awesome straight away, but then you've got the problem of, uh, from a distance, that thing's in the bloody way. You, you can't really win either way. Ugh. If I ever get enough money, I might buy the other one. I'll probably get a fair whack for uh, the one I've got. Oh yeah, come on, sunshine. My pizza. I've never actually played this on the arcade before, only I think the best version I ever played was the, uh, the Mega CD. And of course, the SNES game, which was awesome, but but limited. Look at that. Ooh. Going through the uh, MAME list on the computer, I had a, on my me, me Mac, I had a program called MAME Library which shows you all the details and handy screenshots so you know you can look at games and see what type they are. I don't know if you can see that flickering, I think that's a CRT mode, let's turn that off, it's annoying. <laughs> uh, disconnect, that's the only problem, it disconnects a bloody pad every time. There we go. Oh no, it's not, it's meant to be the lights, that's it. <laughs> I thought I'm going to go in there, like to fit something there. I mean, I assume you can hear that, it's pretty loud. Oh yeah, blue ninja sword. Eat that. It's not, not really much different than the punches, it's just it's got a bit more grab. Oh. Turn around, turn around, get in there. This really is an awesome game, but it's sure enough main, not, not Final Fight. <laughs> Let's have a look for something else. Uh, right, Food Fight, I remember that one. Galaxian, Galactic Gallagher, got the full set there. Hmm. Gamba, Gate of Doom, Ghouls and Ghosts. Or is it Ghost? Which is the better one? Ghosts and Goblins? Eh? Can't remember which one came first. Oh, oh, that's a bit dodgy. Ram okay, check, okay. Oh, it must just be the, the boot. Oh, got a couple of coins in there, and then one player. It's really quiet. It just, it's hard to, to believe that, you know, just, just, just five years ago, something like this would have just, it would have just blown the mind, you know, there was just nothing, nothing like it, I mean, the iPad, I mean. <laughs> I mean, this thing's portable, I can, if I wanted to, you know, take it to bed with me at night and play bloody arcade games. I know you can do that with the PSP and things like that, but I mean, it's just the, the quality of the screen, you know, it's like a kick-ass entertainment system all in one. Oh, oh. Oh, that was uh, interesting. Let's try another. Uh, Gladiator, don't know what that is. Golf. Guided missile. Gunsmoke was awesome. I don't know if that work on buttons though. Hat trick, haunted castle. Hook. Ooh, I bet that's terrible. 
Uh, you know, screens of Vegas and Vinso. I haven't got the full ROM set. Like I said, I've just downloaded a 5 gig pack. And uh, Kangaroo, Karate Blazers, I think Kung Fu's on here because I was having a go on it earlier. King of Monsters, there you go, Kung Fu Master. There's a classic. I won't have a look because I'm sure everybody's seen that one to death. Lord, Lord of the Kings. I say I really like the Double Dragon games but couldn't find them. Uh, not Double Dragon. What was I going to say? Oh, Metal Slow. I hope they work. Those were awesome. Oh yeah, straight in. See, I'm not... I, I think the Neo Geo games are exactly the same file as the Neo Geo. Yeah, it was the Neo Geo system. Get in there. A, B, C. Pop that up so you lot can see it better because I bet my hand is in the way. Ooh. One, start. See now that one's nice and loud. Oh yeah. Would be a bit too loud. <laughs> so let me get the corner of the iPad down. I can't even hear myself anymore. Yeah, if you want to uh, have a go on this, I'm. Uh, I suppose I'm sort of announcing it now in a sly way. If I properly do it, but next June I'm uh, organising a retro event with uh, Pixel Nation. Come on, you. It's going to be in a place called uh, Doncaster. We've already booked the the, uh, the venue. But the great thing, because I'm not, or, or we're not doing the Pixel Nation as like a, a profit based thing. You know. It, oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, sunshine. Oh, he's gone. I bet that that sounds really loud to me. I was going to say. Yeah, so uh, because we're not doing Pixel Nation as a, 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 a profit-based company or anything like that, we're uh, heavily subsidising the, the the venue we've got. Oh, look at that! Oh, so I'm trying not to be too distracted. Oh, well, you can just hold the button down. What an idiot! <laughs> what am I gonna say? Uh, so I always get so distracted when I'm playing Metal Slug. It's terrible. Let's just do something else. <laughs> uh, yeah, because like I said we, we a lot of the money we are making straight off, like any of the books, is going straight back into the company. And what I want to do is because I want to be a very central thing. Ooh, more combat. That might be good. A very central thing in like a re in the, the retro community. So uh, one plan is to pay a, as much as possible for this event. So because we're subsidising the tickets for it, so going to be uh, really, really cheap. I don't know how much yet because we're, we're, we're just sorting the details. I say it is a, it's going to be next June, so it's not it's not exactly around the corner. But we're uh, so yeah, there's, there's a lot of things going on on with that. Oh my god, what's going on there? I'm not waiting forever, there's probably something else. I'm sure you've all seen uh, that before anyway. Miss Pac-Man, that's meant to be awesome. So yeah, it's going to be... Oh, see, so that's a broken one. I can show you the example there now, what, what I do when it's broken. Uh, yes. Now I can't exit the game. Exit game, yes. There we go. So, I'll have to, so there you go. So I just press the button and it grays it out. So I accidentally load it again. So yeah, the event's going to be like um, like a big trip. I mean, I've got pictures of the venue because I've, I've been there. So it's absolutely massive. I mean, it's probably about I'd probably say bigger than the main replay hall that people went to last year, which was 2011. Oh yeah, New Zealand story. And 
come on, is that, is that favourite game of all time, this? What was I going to say? So yeah, it's going to be massive, there'll be... This isn't the first level, this must be some sort of bootleg edition. What's my memories put? No, it's not the first level. That's level two. So yeah, there'll be uh, loads of machines on play for that. Uh, uh, try and get some uh, guests involved, like guest speakers. The thing is, again, that's the sort of the venue's got. It's got loads of like places for interview rooms. We're going to have like a traders section, uh, just stuff like that. So, so yeah, I would just just say keep an eye out for that. It's, uh, it's something I'm hoping to be very very proud of. Come back here, you. Hey. Oh, that's it, you just hold the button to fly on that. Whee! Oh, you s <laughs> son of a. So, no, I wasn't really supposed to announce that then, but I thought, what the hell, why not? People all know about it in advance. There'll be uh, updates on this site and everything in, in due time. I'm sure we'll be helping people, asking people to help out, and. Oh, doing terrible. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, yeah, guys, that's it for the, the main cab for now. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and I will do my best to uh, post another video soon.